We got a legend in here this morning, Blair. She threw out the first pitch the day before Adam Wainwright's retirement party over the weekend. She was also the first woman to play on an NCAA baseball team. Today, Susan Parabo joins us to share why she is back in St. Louis, and it's a great reason, and we are glad to have you here this morning. Good morning, Susan. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing great. Thank uh, you. We are glad to have you. Got to catch up with the parents. How are they doing? My parents are doing great. Uh, my dad got to go to the ball game with me mm -hmm. uh, the other night and got to come on the field with me when I threw the first pitch, and that was really exciting for him. He and my son were both with me, mm -hmm. and we had a blast. Great moment for you guys. Glad you guys could share that as a family. What brings you back to St. Louis? You're getting recognized for something. Uh, yeah, so Webster University, which is where I played ball, they are doing a program about some women from Webster who have interesting and unusual stories and mine is interesting and unusual stories so um, so it's been really exciting to be back and to uh, be kind of invited back into that space because I um, I feel like a St. Louis girl and I feel like a Webster University girl too. You're getting recognized when all you wanted to do was play ball. You just seem so nonchalant about it. You just wanted to play baseball. I just wanted to play baseball. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do, I wasn't trying to be a groundbreaker, trailblazer, mm -hmm. anything like that. I just have always loved to play ball and it was just exciting to have the opportunity to do that at Webster and play with a bunch of great guys who were just there for the same reason. When this all happened, mid 80s, early yeah. 80s, did you think that you would be one of only a few women who are recognized in Cooperstown? I absolutely <laughs> did not. I had no idea that I was the first woman to play NCAA baseball when I did it. Again, like I said, I just wanted to play ball because I loved it. And it wasn't until several years later that I found out that I was the first woman who played NCAA ball. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know I was in the Hall of Fame until my parents visited the Hall of Fame just because they had never been there. And they were walking through, they walked past the women in baseball exhibit, mm -hmm. and there was a plaque there with my name on it. And that's how we found out that, that I was, uh, you know, there, um, recognized there, and, and it was uh, it was an amazing thing. Kind of a really big deal. Exciting. I love just you're just so just relaxed <laughs> about it. And you're like, yeah, it's just kind of how it's supposed to be. It's just, it really, it felt like, you know, something that I did because I wanted to, and then all of these, this was now, 35 years ago and I'm still talking about it yeah. even though you know again I, I didn't think it was a big deal but it stayed with me my, my whole life and I've gotten a lot of great gifts because of it and uh, had lots of super memories so I feel really lucky. You are you are very lucky what was it like sharing a day if you will with Adam Wainwright arguably one of the greatest pitchers in Cardinals history? I I didn't mean to be sharing his weekend <laughs> with him but uh, but that was just icing on the cake and when my dad and son and I were under the ballpark going to an interview, we ran into Wainwright. Wow. Uh, and I went right up to him and said, thanks for everything. Uh, so many great memories. And then my dad got to shake his hand and my son got to shake his hand, which was such a thrill for mm -hmm. all of us, really. And so honestly, by the time I got out the ball field, I was like, this is already the greatest day ever, and uh, and I just, again, I feel really fortunate. Oh, wow. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, real quick as we wrap up, being honored at Webster, when's that happening? That's happening tonight. tonight. Yeah, what time right. do, what do we need a, to be there? There's a program uh, this evening at 5.30 where they're um, recognizing some of the women who were involved in the making of the, the program. So. Well, congratulations to your successes and getting to spend a weekend on Adam Wainwright's final weekend <laughs> in a nice family you moment. Bet. We're glad to have yeah. you back here in St. Louis. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Sarah. We'll have this full interview on our website, fox2now.com. We're back with more Fox News in the morning at 8 after the break. <laughs>